also the heavy costs you are imposing on uh, Russia and the Russian war machine, and also uh, the strengthening of our collective defense here in Europe with more uh, US presence uh, in uh, Europe. And uh, let me also thank you for tireless efforts to uh, consult, to coordinate with NATO allies, and to share intelligence and information throughout this uh, uh, crisis. The US leadership has been outstanding and is indispensable. And that is of great importance when we face a very dangerous situation with the ongoing war uh, in Ukraine. So uh, I look forward to sit down with you, with uh, the other uh, uh, foreign ministers uh, in NATO and to discuss uh, uh, a wide range of issues today and tomorrow, of course including uh, Ukraine, uh, but also that we are able to sit down with our Asia-Pacific partners, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Japan and South Korea, and to address the uh, global ramifications of uh, the crisis in Ukraine and how we are going to work together in different areas with our Asia-Pacific uh, partners. And then of course tonight we will start to have a uh, start uh, our meeting with a discussion uh, addressing the strategic concept, uh, which is an important document for uh, NATO, outlining how NATO should uh, continue to be the strongest uh, alliance in history, uh, facing a more uh, dangerous world and a new security reality. So once again, welcome. It's good to have you here. Thank you, Jens, very much. And I was going to say uh, it's really good to be back, except I feel like we've never left. Um, in fact, I'm going to ask you if there are apartments available at NATO headquarters because we're here so much that uh, we probably need one. And that uh, actually gets to something that, that Jens said that is so important. A hallmark of everything that we've been doing in the months leading up to Russia's aggression against Ukraine and in the time since has been our extraordinary collaboration, coordination, consultation on every element. Uh, of, of the response, and that's exactly what we're continuing uh, here today uh, and tomorrow. Uh, we set out to do three things if Russia decided to pursue this horrific aggression against Ukraine. Uh, one was to support our Ukrainian partners. We're doing that. Two was to put extraordinary pressure on Russia. We're doing that. Three was to uh, make sure that we were shoring up the defenses of our own alliance, NATO, and we're doing that. Uh, and today, tomorrow, we'll continue to, to talk about not only how we can sustain these efforts, but how we can build upon them. Second, as the Secretary General said, um, we're also in a period of tremendous importance for the future of our alliance, uh, not just with regard to uh, the Russian aggression against Ukraine, uh, but more broadly, going toward the NATO summit, a new strategic concept that will be very, very uh, much informed by what's happening now. Uh, in Europe, but also by other challenges that we have to face together uh, as an alliance. So this is an important moment for us to come together to continue to do the work leading up to the summit, the new strategic concept, working with, uh, with new partners, all of which we'll be doing um, in, the, uh, in the next two days. Finally, let me say, I'm, Jens, I'm grateful for your kind words about American engagement, American leadership, but our expression is right back at you. We would not be where we are uh, absent your extraordinary leadership of this alliance. And I think that's evident in the fact that uh, allies came together unanimously uh, when our leaders met just uh, a couple of weeks ago and asked the Secretary General to stay on past his, his term. We are very, very grateful that you've agreed to do that. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do together, and we can continue it right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.